Bura Karin Bukar Punda Karuma Pamamalagari Jarpa Badi Sanka Karuma Yuka Wadawara Madlandi Your land is an integral part of who you are as a person. From whether you're a saltwater person, a desert person, freshwater, islander, your country, that's what gives you strength. Hi, my name's Frances Rings and I am a choreographer and I'm doing a work with Bangara Dance Theatre titled Terrain. Bangara is particularly known for its distinctive style of choreography which embraces and honours our ancient traditions. It captures the old but also it puts it in a, in a context that is fresh and alive. Bangara is a dance company as such. I see it more than that. I see it as a, it, it's got, it has theatre, it has music, it has dance. And it is a storytelling machine, really, about bringing Aboriginal cultural stories of the land and its people to today's medium and today's audiences. Hi, I'm David Page. I am resident composer at Bangara Dance Theatre. Terrain is a work that's inspired by Indigenous people and their relationship to land and country. The particular area that we're focused on is the area of Lake Eyre and I chose that area because Lake Eyre is an incredibly abstract landscape that um, is so alive and so charged and it has its living history also with the Arabana people of South Australia. We were very fortunate to be taken out on a tour with an Arabana elder called Reg Dodd and he shared with us, you know, his knowledge of his country and, and it was amazing to see this man on his land and watch how he could read that land. Every little rock, every tree, every part of that land had meaning and had a place and it resonated with something, a bigger story. and that was all connected. You meet the people and and you find that it, it's part of them, you know? Um, as Franny says, it's like their second skin and that's what terrain is about. It's about respecting where you come from. And I think it's very hard for um, non-Indigenous people to understand that. A lot of Bangara movements and stuff is probably focused on story. They're very much uh, motifs that mimic or manifest creation beings or creation stories. When I went out to the lake and just being inspired by the way that the trees were held, their positions and were contorted and they felt like they were gatherings of women that were gathering together and they were suspended and they were waiting and, you know, you go with that idea and work with the dancers and, you know, you translate that into something else. Well, as a composer, my life cycle is modern music and modern instruments. So I just blend my traditional roots to what I've been brought up with. I love using strings, I like using electronic sounds. And you experiment, you experiment with sounds that bring out a similarity to some of those traditional elements. I used Uncle Reg's voice and he talks, there's some traditional stories he's telling in language and it's quite haunting. So you just, <clears throat> you know, you automatically go there. So I suppose it's up to the audience to allow them to sort of travel to those places um, and, and feel that. So it's like a little introduction into Lake Air, like, okay, this is an amazing place. So it's trying to bring the energy and the spirit alive. It's a real reconciliation process, putting on these works, because it brings, it brings everyone together, because it has the same common denominator, which is um, stories about this, this place where we all come from. Bengara has been around for a long time, but our culture has been around for forever. So we're just part of that cycle, and we would like to let people know about our culture and where we come from.